guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm redesigning my bathroom. It's currently pretty bland, it's a little bit drab, and I just wanna pump it up, make it more full of life. So, if you like my content, then why not subscribe to me down below, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is approximately once a week. And you can also check me out on Instagram. I'm at DIYDalia with an underscore at the end. Okay, let's get to it. So first of all, let's show you my existing bathroom. Here it is, you guys. It's not too bad. It's just a little bit boring, dare I say. I think when I was initially planning the design of this, I really liked the idea of neutrals, gray, gold, white. But because of the gray tiling that's literally on the floor, as well as the sink, as well as the backsplash of the shower over there, hopefully you can see that. Um, I just think it all kind of blends together to be pretty bleh. So this is the starting point. Okay, so now you've seen what my bathroom was and how kind of bland it was. It wasn't making me happy. So now it's empty and I'm ready to decorate. I really wanted to put together some unique colors for this space. So I went to H&M Home and I saw some of their displays and I got a little bit of inspiration from there coupled with some ideas that I had in my head and I came up with a color palette. So this is what I have. I have white, green, gold, and then some warm colors of mustard and amber just to really warm up the space a little bit more. The reason I mentioned that I went to H&M Home and got a little bit of that inspiration is because that's a really good idea. If you're decorating a space, a room, a house, go to Ikea, go to H&M Home and just take note of how they combine really unique colors to create a color scheme and leverage some of that for your decorating style. So the first big thing I wanted to tackle was the shower curtain. I knew I wanted it to be white and I knew I just wanted it to have more texture. So I went to HomeSense and I found the perfect shower curtain. It's this guy right here, it's white. It has this like 3D patterning that's going along in diamonds and I think it just looks really, really pretty. So I'm really excited for this one. I'm gonna put this one up first. I'm gonna pair that shower curtain with this really out there bath mat. I'm really excited for it because it's this nice bright mustard color. And this is totally out there for me. I've never purchased anything this big that's this color. Well, I guess other than my shirt, guys, what's up? I can match. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited for this one. It's really, really plush. I got this one from H&M Home and it was $19.99. It's super, super comfy, it's plush, and it feels so good on the feet. Next up, I'm gonna tackle the left side of the bathroom. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put up some of these faux green frames. So I actually made these in my last place and I've been kind of using them all around where I need be. But I'll just quickly explain how they're made. I went to the dollar store and bought some of these super cheap frames. Then also from the dollar store, I bought these greenery sheets and then basically all you need to do is put a piece of black construction paper behind the glass and then use some hot glue or double-sided tape and attach the green to the front of the glass and voila this is what you have obviously if you buy a smaller frame you need to cut the greenery to size and if you get a bigger frame you need to attach numerous of these sheets of greenery to the frame i have made four and i'm just going to use these exact ones and hang them in a nice little abstract arrangement. Next up, right next to the greenery, I got this beautiful idea to put up an arch mirror. So that's like the perfect space in the bathroom to have a mirror, which is why I had a mirror there before. But I thought it would be a good idea to have a different shape that isn't rectangular. So I went online to Facebook marketplaces and I found someone selling this beautiful archway mirror for $2. They were just trying to get rid of something that they'd had in their house forever. And so I really wanted to change it from white to gold to match my theme. First, I spray painted it with a layer of gold spray paint. Then I realized that the spray paint color that I had, I tried two different colors. I tried one and I didn't like it. Then I tried another one and I still didn't like it. So I decided I was going to gold leaf the frame. So I went ahead and just purchased some gold leaf adhesive. I'm gonna link that down below as well as gold leaf sheets. Super, super affordable. And then I attached those on to the frame.
So next up we have the right side of the bathroom. And right above the toilet, I knew I wanted to add a little bit of color. It needed to be a little bit big to fill the space. And I had the perfect thing in mind. So I have another DIY video. It's my 21 wedding DIY video. And one of the things I made was a seating chart. And I used this wood frame for the seating chart, which I got from Michaels for about 20-ish dollars. And I decided to just find a high quality leaf picture, which I can link down below. It was free. And print it at Staples for about $5 and place it in this frame. And voila, super, super affordable. One thing I really, really like about this is just the color of the wood. I think that's really warm for the space and it really complements the greenery that's in the picture itself. So I went to H&M Home and I found these two beauties, which I'm really excited about. So this guy was $17.99 and this guy, I'm thinking it was like $10. I have somehow lost the price tag. Whoopsies. But yeah, these are just really nice. They're not angled. They're very round. And I think that just will add to the whole space a little bit better. Next up, I found this super cute candle from HomeSense. It was $6.99. And I was searching everywhere for an amber colored candle this kind of color. I went to thrift stores. I was gonna try and find a holder like this and make my own candle, but I could not find one. I went to like three thrift stores. I went to several, several home senses before I found this guy and I smelt it. it smells so divine, perfect for a bathroom. It's called Stimulating Cinnamon and Invigorating Ginger and it actually smells so, so good. It smells divine and the candle holder is exactly what I was looking for. Perfect for my color scheme. And then last but not least, I picked up this set of hand towels, which again, just go perfectly into that color scheme. I got these from H&M Home, go figure, and they were $6.99. And now, are you ready for the final reveal? Because I know I am. So let's go. Okay guys, so I hope you like my new bathroom as much as I do. I'm so, so thrilled with the results and I can finally walk into the bathroom and not have it like screaming out at me that I don't like it. So, sounds good. Um, if you liked this video, which I hope you did, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification, and check me out on Instagram at DIYDahlia with an underscore at the end. I'm actually really trying to grow my Instagram. It's so I appreciate your support very much. Okay, until next time guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.